I want to show you how to change your zoom background. You could do photos and videos and upload your own too. And here's the background picture that I chose for mine. I'll show you some resources on where to get yours if you don't have one. So the best way to do this is inside of the zoom app. So make sure you have the zoom app installed on your computer. And all you have to do is go to the settings option right here. So click your name and then go to settings because you want to do this usually before you start a meeting. So you don't do this in the meeting. If you set this up now, it's going to appear in the meeting once the meeting starts. If you go to background and effects right over here, this is the background I have, right? So this is my camera and this is the background I have. So right now, if I choose none, this is the office that I'm sitting at. But if I choose blur, it could blur that. So this is one option if you don't want to choose a different background. Then they have different backgrounds like San Francisco. They have this earth background and they have a couple of different video options. Like this is a moving video and I think they have this one and that's all they have. So this other one I added on my own. So let me show you exactly how you could do that. If you press the plus sign right over here, you could add an image or a video that has to be on your computer already. So the way I uploaded that is I chose image. I chose that background here and I have two. I'm going to just exit out of this one and then this is my new one. So this is how I would go back and forth between different ones. I chose a slightly blurry one because you can't blur this like with your natural environment. You could press blur to blur it and it will blur the background. But with these, you have to either choose a blurry picture to get this kind of effect. I'll show you another option too in a second. And you also have this option that says I have a green screen. So if you choose this option right now, it's not going to do anything because I don't have a green screen. And I just put a pop up green screen right behind me. And this is something you could pick up from Amazon. I'll put a link below if you want a green screen and look at the difference. Now, this is with the green screen, right? I don't even have to click this on. Make sure you elevate your laptop or your computer to be at eye level. So if you're using any kind of computer right now, the camera is right on my eye level. So it looks a lot more natural when I'm having this kind of conversation. And you could also change the rotation of this, by the way, if you're using a different device like your phone here to have these type of virtual backgrounds. Okay, now if I exit that page and if I jump into a meeting or start one, it will automatically detect that background. So I'm sitting in front of that background that I just set up previously to starting a meeting. If you want to do it while you're in a meeting, all you have to do is right here where it says start a video, there's that little arrow. And that could also bring up your virtual background over here. This brings you back to this page where you could choose any of the other ones that we had like this video one here that makes me look like I'm on a beach. But again, I prefer these more natural ones. So let me show you where I get these. So I use this website called Envato Elements. I chose something called Empty Modern Office in my search up here. And these are all the different ones I got. So this is the one I got. Now, this is a paid subscription platform. It's pretty inexpensive and you get unlimited downloads. So I downloaded this specific image here for this one and it removed the watermark. But you could test out a lot of different ones with a subscription because it's an unlimited download. So you could see they have a lot of them and they have these filters here. So I chose no people and down here I chose blurry too. So a lot of these options like this one looks blurry. So if I want to be in this environment, I'll just press download and upload it the same way as before. And it's that simple to add a virtual background to your Zoom meeting. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.